Okay, today we're going to take a look inside this vintage Aston Martin secret ejector car. It's remote controlled with mystery action. Move this camera a little bit. Maybe. See if I can get in here. We can look at stuff. You want to look at the box. Here's the feature lineup. And all right, let's get that out of the way. The body, if we get that far, we'll uh, we'll talk about the body uh, a little bit later. Main thing I wanted to talk about though is the uh, mechanics of the toy, how it operates. I had to get in to replace a uh, split plastic gear basically. This is the remote. It has uh, 3D cells in it. You have a main lever. Center is off. In off nothing works, not even the eject button. And a uh, normal run would be over this way and as it says run with machine gun would be over this way. That's when the machine guns would extend out the front. Um, when you're in either one of those two modes, if you push the eject button, then the seat, which is on a lever, normally the body would only let it go up so far. With no body here, it's going to swing all, all the way up and back. What's interesting about the way they did all this is there's just a single motor and they uh, reverse the direction of it to get their different functions, which is a fairly standard way of doing it. The bump and go drive is always connected to the motor no matter what. Um, this rack and pinion drive right here is what's going to extend the lights out. Well, machine guns. I shouldn't just call them lights. It's going to extend the machine guns out or retract them back in depending on which way the motor is running. This is a clicker box and a flasher for the guns, so it amplifies the sound when the little wiper gets hit. Um, this side is where the interesting stuff comes in. That ejector button, in order to eject this seat, they need to see if the camera's looking in the right place. You see this piece right here? If I move that, then this seat is spring-loaded and wants to fly up. But see how that moves? Maybe? That grabs the bar. In order for that to move, this piece has to move. In order for this piece to move, this is always spinning and has a little nubbin on it. If this was pushed in, that little nubbin would grab hold of those gear teeth and rotate it, and that will make the ejector go doesn't matter whether the motor is running forward or backward. So what they've put in here, that brown thing that's round, is an electromagnet. So if you're in, when the motor is on, if you push that button, that electromagnet then sucks this piece of metal in so that that spinning lump can grab that little teeth on the gear, pushing that back, which then makes the ejector go. So, this is normal bump and go mode. You can see, and normally the front the bumpers would be out. And here's the machine gun mode. You can see the clicker moving there, and the light. You can see how the rack has gone all the way to one way, and here's the rack all the way to the other way. I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on, and what you're going to want to be trying to watch will be, well, I'll get it back far enough where you can see not only this, but the chair fly back when I hit the red button. So there we are. I'm going to hit the red button now. So that's how the ejector works. See how that moves in there? The electromagnet sucks that bar in. And it would do the same thing even if we were in this mode. So it's kind of ingenious. How they were able to do all that with a single motor and one electromagnet clicker and just reversing it and operate the whole thing off uh, all those D cells. Um, 
I wasn't watching the rear bulletproof window. Let's go back and check that out. Okay, so when you're driving forward, the bulletproof window is down. And uh, when you turn the machine guns on, then the bulletproof window, window goes up. And that's basically tied into this spring mechanism, which connects onto the same rack and pinion that moves the machine guns in and out by pulling on that. Taking advantage of everything they can. That's pretty cool. Not 100% sure about trying to assemble the body on. I think we'll end this video here. I'll do the next video and we'll go ahead and do a demo then of the whole thing put back together.